is a big problem on our roads. Just over 25% of drivers drive when tired at least once every four trips. It's caused by work pressures and lack of proper rest. And puts a lot of people at risk. It's time for a wake up call. New fatigue laws have been developed to make the roads safer for everyone. They apply to all parties in the supply chain, not just drivers. They offer operators greater flexibility, but more responsibility when it comes to managing fatigue. It's about working safer, not less. It's also about recognising there's no distinction between work and driving. It's all work. Oh, hi love, it's me. No, I went without a hitch. And what time's Ryan's soccer game start again? A good one. I'll see you soon. Bye. Nick has just finished a job. He's made a delivery and hasn't been fatigued. It's what the new laws are all about. There'll be a greater emphasis on sleep and rest, better record keeping, risk-based categorisation of offences, a revised range of sanctions and greater enforcement powers. The new laws apply to trucks or a truck combination of greater than 12 tonnes gross vehicle mass. They also apply to buses with 12 or more seats, including the driver. The new laws start on the 29th of September 2008. You need to think now about how they'll affect you and what improvements you may need to make in the management of driver fatigue. It's the responsibility of everyone in the supply chain to make sure operations move smoothly and without incident. The chain of responsibility starts here at the top with company management. It's more than just allowing enough time to get from A to B. We have to start talking to drivers, to consigners, to loading managers, and anyone involved in our transport chain so that we can get a better picture of how each job works. Also, we need to keep more accurate records so that we can see if the processes we have in place to manage fatigue are working and how they link to improvements in our business. Yes, it's an ongoing process which will require training mm. and even supervision in some cases. We'll also need to be able to review our own processes at any stage. Mm. And we need to plan for unforeseen things like driver sickness, mm -hmm. traffic delays and of course unscheduled deliveries as we seem to be getting a few more of them as we start to pick up more business. Mm. The new laws are consistent with the current OH&S regulations and require everyone in the supply chain to take all reasonable steps to manage driver fatigue. This operator has the right idea. They're putting in place processes to manage the risk of fatigue. So what are the main components of a fatigue risk management system? Risk identification, what could happen? Risk assessment, what is the likelihood of it happening? Risk control, what can we do about it? and monitor and review what systems are in place. And one last thing, no one should deal with anyone who ignores the new laws for commercial gain. In the transport industry, many of the decisions made by off-road parties directly affect the working conditions of the driver on the road. Under the new laws, all parties in the supply chain are required to have processes in place to identify and assess risks. This will greatly minimise the danger of driver fatigue. Here, the depot manager is about to find out there'll be an extra delivery tonight. Fortunately, the operator has had a fatigue risk management system in place for almost three months. They also have a backup plan in case of anything unexpected. Tonight? Geez, thanks for the notice. That's no, OK. Look, we can do that. we got Nick on standby. No, he should be okay. He's there 20 hours off the road, including all of last night, so uh, he should be well rested. Anyway, he knows he's on standby, so... Yep. I'll let you know if there's any problems, but uh, Nick should be fine. Okay. I'm on it. In all cases, driver safety is most important. Operators have to be adaptable and flexible and have backup plans for changes in routine. In this case, the operator is well prepared. However, the processes in place to manage the risk of fatigue should be continued.